So earlier in the week, uh, I was asking you about a couple of events in here. So I forgot to mention Phil Tier because he's been out for a little while. He's out there on the out. Moose will play tonight, so uh, that'll that's great to get him back. Obviously, it's probably probably been a month or so. Um, so you know, we're getting getting healthier. Obviously, a forward group was pretty beat up. Um, getting more guys back on the forward group. Obviously, a few key D injuries right now, which is which is too bad. But you know, it's it's the nature of the beast a little bit. You know, Moose is a, uh, you know, he's a different element. You know, he, the more big power forward type guys you can have in your lineup, uh, the better, uh, who also have skill. And, and uh, obviously we have a, a lot of middle size, dynamic, fast based forwards. Um, so to add another guy with Mershi and Murr, um, that's more of the power forward uh, mindset and skill set uh, is beneficial, especially against a, a heavy team like Charlotte. Uh, one of the players we touched on earlier was Christian Younger. He said Saturday he felt was disgusting in the American League. I mean, given the injuries of the Blue Line, what kind of opportunity is this really great opportunity for Jani? Yes, it's a great opportunity for Janny. Uh, really good teammate, hard worker, um, you know. Numbers situation where he had to start in Jacksonville um, and and went down there and had a great attitude and played well, got his way back here, uh, has worked hard in practice, and and now this is, you know, last weekend and now here, uh, these are key opportunities. You want to seize these as a player. They, he's, we signed him for a reason. He had a really good career in college at both Alaska and at North Dakota. Uh, he put up some really good offensive numbers at North Dakota, so he, he has the ability uh, with the puck, especially, he looks good, really good in the offensive zone going north. And now he's starting to adjust to the speed and the size and the physicality that you have to play defense with at this level. So uh, I'm excited for him because uh, he's earned he's earned this opportunity. Um, and some of it comes through injuries and things like that, but he's earned it with his work that he's put in. And, and so it's exciting to see him get rewarded for it. Obviously, Levi started both games for you last weekend. Yeah, I probably can't say enough good things about Tukarski and Cooley, the way they handled uh, last week. Um, you know, it's hard. Uh, you, you don't know uh, what the situation is going to be. And, um, and Tukarski has been really good after coming back from his injury. And I think Cooley – has really been trending in a really good direction, had a really strong game the previous week uh, where he looked the best he's looked all year. And, and then Levi comes down and Levi, Levi's a great kid with a great attitude, but you know, there's a lot of media fanfare that comes with that as well. And, and so, um, you know, they see that and they, and uh, you know, they handled it amazing. Um, great work ethic last week, great attitude, completely supportive of their teammates. Um, you know, I thought that picture of, of Devin uh, with their eagle head that, that number one, Cooley gave him that because Cooley had it from our last win. So it says a lot about Devin, Cooley. And then Ticker in, in that picture just beaming and smiling at him, you know, and enjoying the moment with him. And uh, I think it says a lot about our locker room, but even more so about uh, what Dustin Sikarski and Devin Cooley are made of. That's probably a question you're in training camp. We'll talk about things like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I Ticker, uh, you know, Ticker's a guy that, um, you know, we're familiar with an organization. Um, I just think he drips of winning. Um, he's got a winning mentality. Um, he's won everywhere he's ever been. And, uh, so uh, to have more of those guys, you know, we're pretty young. And so to have some guys like him around with Prow and with Mersh and Yapst and as, as, as some older guys in our room uh, is, is extremely valuable for us. Uh, switching over, I guess, to the top of the special teams. In that three-game run, it's when we got from the UK and 17 times. Uh, how important is it to stay out of the Yeah, it was too many times. That was the only thing we didn't do well um, – Defensively, from a defensive standpoint, in Belleville, we took too many penalties. Our penalty kill was excellent, but you go to the box that many times, some are going to go in the net. Um, now, we, but we were more aggressive physically. 
So there's a balance to that. Now we can't cross that line and get into the box as much as we did. Um, but I did like how little time and space we gave them five on five. So now we have to find the balance of, of giving up less time and space, um, being better defensively. We were really good defensively last weekend, five on five. Most of the shot numbers and the scoring chance numbers came on the power play for Belleville. Uh, and so now we need to have that same mindset from a physical perspective, from a taking time and space away perspective without crossing the line and, and taking penalties. And when we look at tonight against Charlotte, they're coming off a nine to home stand and we're running five over that place. They're not scoring a lot of goals. Can you be catching this team at the right time? I, th I usually look at it the other way. Um, when a good team is hasn't won, they're, they're probably going to be great against you. So uh, I'm expecting a playoff type atmosphere tonight. Um, you know, we lost our last game. We should be a little ornery. Um, they lost twice to Hershey. They all played Hershey both nights. Um, you know, so uh, I, I, you know, watching their games, um, I think sometimes. When you look in small windows of games, your record can be an anomaly. Uh, Goaltending of your opponent, puck luck, things of that nature, especially in our sport. Um, the games I've watched of them on pre-scout, they've completely outplayed the opponent every game. And they're number one, two, three in the league in shots for uh, ozone time, um, for checking uh, prowess, all, all of those numbers for them. Extremely high pressure team, uh, very good on the four check, and uh, consistently outshoot their opponents. And you know they fell on the wrong side of some scores, but we're going to face a really good opponent today. We've talked about that. I know you're obviously familiar with a couple of those players, um, but Zach you Dobby's know, also one of their leaders too. Uh, what's a guy like him in terms, I guess, of the practice of the errors? Yeah, but Dumpa is an elite American League player, and I, I, don't, I don't know him. I haven't spent a lot of any time around him, but everybody that I do know him uh, raves about him. Raves about him as a teammate and a leader and the kind of person he is and, and the kind of example he sets for their younger prospects. So and he's just extremely highly thought of uh, around this league, uh, kind of like Mercy would be. And uh, those reputations are earned uh, through a lot of years of doing things the right way. It's the American Hockey League. There is no plan. Uh, you know, I mean, no, the plan, all plans have to be, uh, they have to be adaptable because the plan is only so good until either the plan doesn't work or in this case, somebody gets hurt or sick or you know, whatever it is. So, you know, we can plan to have any prospect um, for whatever amount of time period we plan it for, but when injuries happen or illnesses happen, you have to adjust those plans. So that that's life in the American League. And uh, so, you know, Oopi got sick and uh, they needed they needed a goaltender and, and uh, they called up Devin. So, um, you know, and when he came down, the plan was let's just take it week to week, day to day. Um, he had a productive week with us. He probably got to take a breath, um, got to kind of have a little fun, start two games back to back, play well, get a little, get a little swagger maybe back. Um, and then, and then uh, you know, the, the situation happened where, where Oopi got sick, and so Devin gets a chance to go back up. And, you know, it's probably a pretty fun night for him. He's back in Boston where he played college uh, in that arena where he's won some big games in the bean pot. It's a lot of good karma and mojo you find probably as a goaltender in that moment. And he had an excellent game uh, and, and the team had an excellent game in front of him. Uh, Prow, Metza, Warren, Warren still out. Prow, Metza, Warren. I think, yeah, I think that's it. Prow is probably four more weeks lower body. Metz is probably four to six lower body. Warren is closer. Warren is, uh, 
our goal would be that Warren is available um, sometime that last week before Christmas.